Hey, welcome back, everybody. Got a little interest here to the this RV park that we're at uh, for the last couple weeks here. Marion County Park in Jasper, Tennessee. Nice. It's not a bad, not a bad little thing. It's on uh, Nickajack Lake, right off the Tennessee River. Uh, this is the entrance. There's a few of the rules. You want to pause it? You can look at them, but. Uh, yeah, these aren't followed at all. All right, just a couple hundred yards from the entrance here. We got basically three ways to go. Stay left is a more of an RP, RV park part of this. Uh, we're going to take off to the right and head up that way. Uh, check in right there straight ahead. It's just a little cabin, uh, 10 by 10 little cabin there. Perfect situation for what they got. Boats will go up this way. We're going to go off to the right here. There's some more tent camping and the dump station. And if you stay to the right, that's just more of a little picnic area, day use camping. There. All right, as we're walking up here, kind of took the middle road. Come down here a little bit. There is a bathhouse right there, showers and right there is going to be the dump station all right we're up uh, just a little bit past the bend coming around all these uh tent areas they all have a picnic table they all have a fire pit and everybody here is within like a hundred feet of water easily Bring their boats right up to the shore. Let's tie them off. Load up the people, take off. Uh, a lot of canoes are here. Um, pontoon boats. Lots of fishing going on. Uh, right by the tent area, they do have pavilion. Pavilion right there, and uh, yep, yeah, picnic tables in that pavilion, and then they have a little uh, playground up on top of the little here. Hill here. Exercise stations. You gotta get your workout in. I work out. We have a stage for little concerts, little bands playing or whatever. We still got some more uh, tent areas here. We're still on the same area. Right down there is a little fishing pier, a little dock that you can walk out on. Get you out there 75 feet into the water. A lot of fishing going on there. Fishing pier. We're looking at the boat dock right now. Boat ramp. Boat ramp and a dock. Uh, I-24 is right there. Uh, we are back almost to where the starting uh, point was. That's the entrance right down there. That is the office uh, coming in straight after you check in. Bathhouse. It's a newer one. Yeah, newer one with a little strange setup as they don't have a drain in the actual bathroom. They do in the showers, not in the bathroom. All right, we're gonna head down here and see what this other side is like. We are still in the main part of this park. We are down at the other end of the main loop here. Uh, most of these um, on these th the third row back are going to be your yearlies or monthlies. Over there is the boat ramp, boat dock, I-24, Lake Nickajack. And these first two rows uh, on the right hand side, nearest the water, are all the back ends. On the left hand side or the middle row, these are all going to be your pull throughs. The pull throughs are huge. You can leave all your stuff hooked up, no problem at all. I'd say they're 100 feet at least. So really nice, and the back ends are also really nice. Right off the water, you set up your little pop-up or a chair just to see what's there. So you'll notice that the the back ends have picnic tables, but the pull-throughs do not. 
and then you're on that side over there, there aren't any picnic tables. None. We're gonna head over there next. shot of the office there for you. I think they have this on their website. We were just there. We just walked around this way. And we're right back to that. Now we're going to head over to this section here. All right, the main entrance. We're going right to the left. About 100 feet inside the gate is the second area. Straight off to the right is uh, more camping, uh, tent camping. Actually, they kind of set tent camping up almost anywhere. All right, we're here at the second boat ramp. We were just over there. That's the main RV parking. Swing you guys around here. This is the second loop. Let's head down there and see what it's got. All right, just left the boat dock heading into the other loop. Depend on where your site is. Take a left or go straight. So it's sites starting at 37 on this side, on the right side. And then I think there's about 60 spots. I think there's 58. There's a couple more up yonder there, so. We're probably looking about 60 total spots for this campground. Tank camping, I know they have 25, 30 spots, but really they'll pack it in here as much as possible. And you'll notice that all the sites in the campground, have you have at least a view of the water. Either if you're in the middle or on the edge, but everyone can see the water from their spots. And our spot is coming up here in just a second. Uh, and then you'll see all the little trash bins around. Those get emptied pretty frequently. Uh, they're full now from the weekend and everything. Um, I think they come every few days or so, but they're actually here right now emptying the, the bins. All right, we are at the end of the loop. Turn around. If you do have a big red, this is going to be the second tightest part. The first one is making it under some trees over by the tent area, which don't go over there if you have a rig hooked up. And we'll end it. This is our spot right in front of us that we're walking to, which is actually a really good spot, spot number 43. And one thing that we didn't mention is that there are no, there's no sewer here. So you're going to have to, if you're going to be here for a while, you'll probably need a blue boy. You know, those little wagon things that you pull and put your poo in. <laughs> <laughs> And we were in a spot that has a 30-50, or 20-30-50, no sewer. Electricity seems to be pretty good here. All right, guys, from Marion County Park, thanks Check for joining us. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, or at least share it with one of your friends that would be interested in seeing some of our stuff, so we would appreciate that. All right, guys, until next time. Bye. Just kidding, we forgot one thing. We forgot to tell you. Um, we learned from the locals here that we are in what they call slow time, which is central central time. <laughs> and then basically once you cross over there, right, into Chattanooga. Yeah, that I-24 runs right up there. And basically one of those tops over there is where it turns into? Fast time. <laughs> so Eastern time. So it can be very confusing if you're traveling around, if you go to Chattanooga or other areas in the fast time, and you look down at your clock or the watch or whatever, and so you just get to pay attention to where you're at. Our, just, truck, our truck says fast time, our phones say slow time in the same spot. Yeah, so just ask Google where you're, where you're at. <laughs> Google, where am I? Google seems to know. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye.